Well, some Vermont students recognized tonight at the State House in Montpelier as presidential scholars. NBC 5's Tyler Boronsky was at the ceremony and explains who was nominated this year. After taking place virtually last year, some of Vermont's top-ranked seniors were able to be honored again in person at the State House, being recognized for their accomplishments and initiatives they're passionate about. Thank you all for joining us in this recognition ceremony for the 2023 Vermont Presidential Scholars. Let's give them one round of applause again. A chance to honor Vermont students that are paving the way. It just makes you incredibly optimistic about the future when you see everything they've accomplished. From technologists to writers to artists, Teachers, administrators, and fellow students nominating who they felt demonstrated their passions at the highest level, like Matthew Rizvanov, a skilled trumpet player. Being acknowledged for putting that much work in, that six hour a day practicing, all of that like by yourself, making yourself play, and enjoying and loving what you're doing, it feels good to be acknowledged for that. Many of the students are using their voices to create larger discussions. Amelia De Young wants to destigmatize any negative connotation around mental health. I always found that it wasn't really given the same recognition as other issues were. Um, and I saw there was efforts in my school to try to bring that awareness. But overall, I just found that it still wasn't getting what it really deserved. Amelia is a student mentor for her other classmates as well. Besides helping them with their academics, they also have deep, tough conversations. I just kind of want to get to that place where everyone's able to like freely discuss it and be treated in a way without anybody being seen as weak or inferior in any sense. An example of being a leader within your community. When I think about Vermont presidential scholars, it's the commitment to community. I think you hear that as a strand throughout all the awardees. All the recipients will be eligible to apply for the U.S. Presidential Scholars Program. The winners will be announced in May. In Montpelier, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.